Hi friends, it's Miss Ann again from New Jersey Audubon's Plainsboro Preserve. Thank you for joining me for Critter Talk with Miss Ann. Today, we're in the hardwood forest because the creature that we're searching for lives in the mature forest. It's one of my favorite feathered friends, the pileated woodpecker. We're going to be searching for the pileated woodpecker and signs of some of the things that they do to survive. There are many different species of woodpeckers that can be found at the Plainsboro Preserve. There are hairy woodpeckers, downy woodpeckers, northern flickers, red-bellied woodpeckers, oh, and pileated woodpeckers. They're the largest species of woodpecker that can be found here on our property. All of those woodpeckers have one thing in common. They peck wood. Yes, they do. They peck on that wood. They drill into the tree. They might be drumming. Drumming is almost like singing. They would drum to attract a mate. But largely, they're drilling into the trees looking for food. What is the food that a woodpecker will eat? Just a few days ago, I saw a pileated woodpecker drilling into this tree. What do you suppose it was looking for? There's some of the holes that it made, and it may have been ripping off some of the bark too. What was it looking for, do you suppose? Oh yeah, there's bugs under here. That's what it's looking for. I would guess the pileated woodpecker will drill right into these holes looking for some food because carpenter ants and termites can be hard at work in this log. So when the woodpecker comes along, drills a hole and rips off some of the bark, he's gonna get a tasty snack with lots of protein. Oh yeah, there we go. Woodpecker food. a woodpecker drum against a tree without getting a headache? Well, I'll tell you, their brains are a little bit smaller than ours. That's not an insult. It's an adaptation. They have a smaller brain. They also have muscle that attaches that brain to the skull, so it's not sliding around. Our brain is sitting in a pool of fluid. It would slosh around if I was banging my head. That's how I could get a concussion. But the woodpecker's brain will hold still as they're drumming. Plus, their skulls are a little bit different too. The front of the woodpecker's skull is very thick and very hard. But inside, right in front of the brain, it's a little bit spongy. And that helps absorb some of the shock of drilling into a tree. The pileated woodpecker will keep on pecking away at a tree. It eats termites and other things that could be found underneath the bark. So a dead tree should be left. That's part of good forest management. We're not talking about a tree that's right next to a trail where it might fall on people and hurt someone. But this dead tree is providing shelter and food to a lot of different creatures of the forest. There's another reason a pileated woodpecker might be drilling into a tree. Take a look at this woodpecker. Look at that deep hole she's drilling. I don't think she's looking for insects to eat. I think she's making a nest. Here we see another pileated woodpecker. If you look very closely, you might even see that woodpecker is feeding babies in the nest. How exciting. Thanks for joining me today for Critter Talk with Miss Anne. Don't forget, get outside and explore.